I'm Anil Kumar and here is another practice question for you to find solution of quadratic equation using completing squares method. Question is determine the exact solution of half x square minus 3x equals to minus 2 and verify your solution. So let's first find the solution. The equation given to us is half x square minus 3x equals to minus 2. Some of you can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion, right? Now, first step I prefer is get rid of this fraction, which we can if I multiply every number by 2. So it is times 2 this one, times 2 that one, and times 2 this one. So multiply all terms by 2. So we get here x square minus 6x equals to minus 4. That's the first step. The second step for me should be, should be what? We need to kind of complete the squares, right? How do you complete the squares? Complete the squares by adding half of 6, which is 3, square of that. So we need to add um, half of 6, let me say 6 over 2, square. 6 over 2 is 3, 3 square is 9. That means I need to add 9 on both sides. So we get x square minus 6x plus 9 equals to minus 4 plus 9. So we added 9 on both sides since it is square of half of coefficient of x. That's the rule, right? That is how you complete squares. Now these three terms form a perfect square and I could write them as x minus sign from here 3 square. So 3 square equals to minus 4 plus 9 is number 5. Now we can square root. So we get x minus 3 equals to plus minus square root of 5 and x is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 5. So we get our solution which is x equals to plus minus square root of 5. Once we have the solution we can check whether this solution is indeed correct or not. Now to check we'll substitute x equals to 3 plus square root 5 and x equals to 3 minus square root 5 in the given equation and verify that left side is equals to right side. Okay, so this time let me test with the value x equals to 3 minus square root 5. So what I'll do is I'll substitute on the left side x equals to 3 minus 5. So we'll begin with the left side. We'll say left side is equals to half of, instead of x I'm writing 3 minus square root 5 whole square. So we get 3 times again 3 minus square root 5. Right, so that's the left side. Now let's expand. So we get half of 3 square is 9 and then 2 times AB means with a negative sign, 6 square root 5, and then square of 5, which is 5, square root of 5, right? Let's multiply this. It gives me minus 9, and minus and minus is plus, plus 3 square root 5, right? So that is what I get here. Now, in this particular case, let me open this bracket and see what do I get. So I get half of 9, which is let's say 4.5, minus 3 square root 5, plus half of 5 is 2.5, okay, minus 9, plus 3 square root 5. Now, 3 square root 5 and 3 square root 5 cancels out. And uh, what are we left with? Okay, let's write down. So we are left with 4.5 plus 2.5, which is 7, right? So 7 minus 9, and that is indeed equal to minus 2. So we are left with minus 2, which is equal to the right side. Is that okay? So therefore, the solution is absolutely correct. So that is how you can test whether the solution you've got is correct or not, right? So what I'd like you to do is also check for 3 plus square root 5. Follow the same process and check it out. I hope that really helps you to understand how to find solution of quadratic equation 
using this method of completing squares and verifying your solution. Thank you and all the best.